Middle Ages that were between the 7th and 17th century AD were known by the Europeans as the Dark Ages, although they were the ages of prosperity and uniqueness in the Islamic civilization in the East. These ages opened the way for many discoveries and inventions, which became afterwards fundamentals for the human life, which made them Golden Ages. Ibn al-Haytham, also known as al-Hazm, is an Iraqi Muslim scientist, known for his multiple studies in the field of optics. This man devoted his life for science and wrote about 200 manuscripts and books. The discovery of how the human eye works is attributed to him, which helped him to set the basic mechanisms of what's known these days as the camera. There was an urgent question that haunted Ibn al-Haytham. It was, how can the eye see? The ancient scientists believed that when we open our eyes to see, there is a ray that comes out of our eyes and lands on the seen object, and then falls back to our eyes again, which causes the ability of sight. But he wasn't convinced that we are the source of light, because he believed that light is around us everywhere. Like, for instance, the sun is a major source of light. So he came to a conclusion which states that the eye sees by the reflection of light on the objects and not the opposite. Ibn al-Haytham was imprisoned in the era of one of the Abbasid caliphs, but the darkness of his cell was the source of light to the whole of mankind, because he took notes on the penetration of light through a tiny hole in the wall of his cell, and its landing on the opposite wall, bringing with it an upside-down image of a tree which was outside the prison. Ibn al-Haytham wrote down these notes and supported it with many laws, which were known afterwards as the Laws of Light, in his book, The Book of Optics. And he said for this experiment the term Kamara, which means a cabin or dark room with one tiny hole, that became the camera when the book was translated into Latin. The whole Quranic verses are 6,236, but Allah Almighty chose these verses to be the first to descend on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which, as we can see, urged science research and reading. It also means that Allah favors the scholars and knowledgeable people and raises them in degree over others.